Hi, I'm Joe May, Senior Technical Trainer for Graco's Contractor Equipment Division. Welcome to Graco Garage. If you're performing diagnostics, you'll need to know how to read and operate one of the most useful measuring devices in your toolbox, the multimeter. Multimeters can measure voltage, both AC and DC, current and resistance. But be aware that the range of measurements for each will vary slightly based on the manufacturer of the multimeter. Turn the dial on the multimeter to the omega symbol. The display should read OL, which means open line. There are three connections at the bottom of the meter, COM, V, and A. You must ensure that the probes are placed in the correct slot for what you're attempting to measure or the multimeter may be damaged. To measure DC voltage, make sure that the black probe is connected to the terminal labeled COM. Be sure the red probe is connected to the terminal labeled V. Turn the dial to the symbol V with the bar above it. Place the end of the black probe at the point you want to measure from. This is typically called ground or common. Place the red probe at the point you want to measure. Read the value on the display. To measure AC voltage, make sure that the black probe is connected to the terminal labeled COM. Be sure the red probe is connected to the terminal labeled V. Turn the dial to the symbol V with the squiggle above it. Place the end of the black probe at the point you want to measure from. This is typically called ground or common. Place the red probe at the point you want to measure. Read the value on the display. To measure ohms, make sure the black probe is connected to the terminal labeled COM. Be sure the red probe is connected to the terminal labeled OMEGA. Turn the dial to the symbol OMEGA. Place the black and red probes across the two points that you want to measure. Read the value on the display. To measure DC current, make sure that the black probe is connected to the terminal labeled COM. Be sure the red probe is connected to the terminal labeled A. Turn the dial to the symbol A with the bar above it. You must break the circuit you want to measure the current in and place the red and black probes in series with the broken circuit. Read the value on the display once you are ready to take your measurement. There are many different types of multimeters. Be sure to choose the right one for your needs. For example, if you need to measure 300 volts DC, you will need a multimeter that can make measurements greater than 300 volts DC. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials like this one, subscribe to the Graco Garage YouTube channel and visit one of the links listed here.